What's up, YouTube? My name is Bob Morrison, and today we are, um, welcome back to Nerdly, sorry. Today I am doing the First Order Executioner Hot Figure. So if you guys don't know what, what this guy is, he's, it's in the title, he's an executioner. And basically, like, um, I have a him out of the box set. This is one of the serious ones, along with two other pops that I'm doing today. Um, I haven't taken them out, um, excuse me. Um, so basically, um, these guys have the black stripe on their helmet, now their arms. Um, and they, he was in the trailer, if you've seen the trailer Awake, uh, Finn fights with Phasma, I think. Or, Finn fights with Phasma, and Finn goes like this, with like an axe-like thing. He goes, come on, and they're fighting. Um, this, that's the Executioner's, um, axe. So I'm going to take him out of the box for the first time, and then we'll get started. Alright, so I took him out of the box. He looks actually so cool. So, here he is. He's got the plasma going over. I've never seen it like this before. The lightning goes. And back here, too. I'll just take him off from the stand. So, I've never had a Stormtrooper one before, except for... I don't even think I have Finn. Do I have a Stormtrooper one? I know I have a Death Trooper. No, it's not bug me. It's crap. Uh, anyways, um, look, look at my old videos. Let me know. So, anyways, this is the executioner. He looks so cool. Um, Star Wars Seven, in my opinion, wasn't the greatest. It was, it was cool. Okay, I don't want to start a nerd fight. It was cool. Just the stormtroopers in it were the main thing that I thought was cool. Their helmets were redesigned. They could do more things. And, like, um, I think one of my favorite parts in that movie is, um, when Finn turns to the light side and Kylo Ren can sense it and he stares at him. That's, like, at the beginning of the film. It is so cool. I am going to see the eighth one, hopefully, uh, uh, no, I am going to see the eighth one for Christmas, uh, and it'll be awesome there, too. So, sorry, I didn't mean to lean right in. So, anyways, here's the executioner. He is so cool. It's basically just head, just dead. You know, lovely Star Wars talk. He's designed all the way around. He's got back epaulets and stuff that, and um, armor pieces that you would never see in the movie because you wouldn't be paying attention to stuff. And he's a bobblehead too. And his black stripe defines him too. Like he's easy to pick out in a line. You can see this is the executioner. Here's his axe. He's going to, if you'll day up, like you know, um, I actually held up. Uh, a replica of the axe in the Disney store at Scarborough Town Center. It is heavy. It is very, very heavy. It is very scary. Um, I, I scared myself on opening it. This thing is so cool, man. Like, just feeling it. It's just neat. It's, it's, it's a cool pop figure. So, anyways, that's it for this one. Now I'm gonna hopefully fit in the two other ones. Give me a sec. Alright, so the next pop figure we're gonna do is Mr. Clark from Stranger Things. Now, if nobody's seen Stranger Things, uh, you have to watch it because there's no other greater show in the history of mankind than Stranger Things. So watch Stranger Things. Because I'll be like, um, I see see the comments, stop spoiling it! Well, maybe you should watch it, and I will have to spoil it. Mm. So anyways, um, this is a 2017 summer convention exclusive. I didn't get to pick this guy up because I was dumb and I got Princess... Um, Hologram Princess Leia and R2-D2, and that was a very bad mistake, because I found out I could get Hologram Princess Leia online for a dollar. Same with R2-D2. Woo! So, I spent a lot of money on that. I didn't mention how much, though. It was $20. It was 20 freaking dollars for those two. And I, and I never got to Clark, get Mr. Clark, so I'm happy that I got him. So, it was, um, I haven't opened this one either, and if you don't know, Mr. Clark is the science teacher in, um... Oh, crap, I didn't do that. It's Stranger Things, but first, I have to do the numbers on the back. So this is, um, number two, uh, this is the Stormtrooper again. This is number 201 for the Stormtrooper. Number 190 uh, is Ray, who looks awesome. 191 is Finn in a First Order outfit, which is scary. 192 is Poe with, um, a, with his gun up. 193 is Luke Skywalker, the one I got already. He's got, like, a cane. 194 is... Kylo Ren with the scar, which is awesome. 
195, which is Chewbacca, which I got. 196 is BB-8. He's got, like, all his arms out and stuff. 197 is Rose. I really think Rose is Luke's, um, uh, wife. I really think she is. Uh, 198 is the Pork, which is this bird thing, uh, that I love. 199 is Supreme Leader Snoke in his Dragas gold freaking Snoop Dogg robes right there, like he's a rapper. Uh, 200 is a, a guy in a red suit that looks like the goofy guys from the old ones, because I can't say that, and I don't want to butcher that name right here. But let's do it anyways. Praetorian Guard. You know what's fun to say. Let's say it again. Praetorian Guard. Okay. I'm not going to say it again. Uh, 201 is the first door executioner. I like how I just looked at the camera like, very seriously. I'm not going to say that again. And 202 is BB9E, the ripoff of BB8 to sell more toys. Ooh, that's fun. So anyways, um, here's Mr. Clark. I don't know what BB-9 is going to do, except, you know, he's, I'm sorry, I love Star Wars. Mm -hmm. I love Star Wars so much. bb 9 looks pretty cool, but he just kind of looks like a way to sell more toys. What is this hair right now? Let's be serious here. So anyways, um, this is, uh, 476, which is Mr. Clark. 421 is 11 with Egos, which is the one we got, and we love that one. Uh, 422 is 11 underwater, which I really want. 423 is Mike. Ew. 424 is Dustin. Yay! 425 is Lucas. Yay! 426 is Will. Yay! 427 is Barb. Why? I don't know. Who says that? Yeah, that's the one thing I don't get. Barb was in it for one episode. And then she kind of got continued into season two. Even though she got, uh, I'm not going to say, but, you know... Everyone knows what happened to freaking Barb, okay? Uh, 428 is the Demogorgon with his mouth open, which is actually pretty cool. And, uh, 436 is Joyce. Ew. Joyce isn't one of my favorite characters, okay? In season one, she was one of my favorite characters. In season two, she just came in that. Along with Mike. I know if you were gonna fight me on that. But it's my opinion. And as a YouTube creator, you have to listen to it. I'm just joking, no. Mr. Clark's cool, and Dustin calls Mr. Clark my lord. So I'm going to pause this, open Mr. Clark, and take him out, and they'll look at it. So I took Mr. Clark out, and I never noticed this before. He's got, he's holding his pen, in which he used to draw the upside down. I know my camera's not going to be able to focus that on it, really. Like, can you? No, it's focusing on my face. It's not focusing on the thing in front of me. But anyways, this is how he draws the upside down. I think I can get one here. Nope. Won't focus on the box anyways. But, um, you know what? I'm going to draw it. Mm -hmm. That's what. So I just drew it out. So this is, this is what is on his paper plate here, in which they show at Will's funeral. Now, for those of you who haven't seen season one, this is a spoilers, by the way. But basically, um, the kids ask Mr. Clark because they know Will. So basically, there's a character in the show, his name is Will. Will got taken to the Upside Down, which is another dimension, okay? This is very nerdy talk. Stay with me. So anyways, um, so Mr. Clark is like a science teacher. It's their, and an AV, and the AV club teacher. Like, their, their favorite teacher, basically. And at Will's funeral, he's not dead, by the way, um, they ask Mr. Clark... Um, how another person would make basically interdimensional travel. And Mr. Clark explains to them that this is an acrobat, okay? This is humans. Humans, and this is a tightrope. And basically, under here, where my finger is right here, under here is the next dimension. He explains to them that uh, a human can only move this way. So basically, we can only move in our own playing field. And this is a fleet. A flea can move along this rope, too. Just pretend. This is an acrobat. This is the rope. This is a flea. A flea can move along this rope, too. But a flea can also go underneath the rope and along the side of the rope. So, basically, a flea, um, if you're talking about giant, simplified math here, a flea can make interdimensional travel because a flea and bugs of that kind can go along the side of things and even upside down things. Like if you see an ant, 
an ant can climb up my finger up like if my hands like this an ant can go upside down like this and back up again so basically but a human can't do that like unless you're spider-man you can't do that so he explains them that a lot of energy would have to be created for them to be able to go into the upside down or the other dimension to get will there you go very simplified so that's the diagram right there that's and he's holding a pen too so that's the little thing that's on the paper plate. And then he um, explains to them to make it go to do it through. He folds it in half and he's talking about going, going through and to do and to be able to. So basically, um, this is this is the rope again. The paper is the rope to be able to, for a human to be able to go through the rope into the upside down. A lot of energy has to be made. So he just goes like. That. So basically, a human would have to make a lot of energy to go through it, through the piece of paper, through the rope, into the upside down. I didn't explain it right. I'll go find a freaking clip and sh and um, put it in the link. I don't think I explained that right. But anyways, uh, this is the Mr. Clark figure, and Mr. Clark looks so cool. And he was a rare figure too. I thought the pen underneath his uh, hand here was just something uh, that wasn't supposed to be there, but it actually is, and that is super neat. Like, they don't, uh, with 2017, uh, and, well, basically, convention exclusives, they go all out and trying to make it cool, and this was really neat, in my opinion. So, um, uh, that's it for Mr. Clark, and I, I have four minutes left, so I can do this. Let's go on back. Uh, so, the very last one that I have to do for this three pop special is Chewbacca. So, uh, Chewbacca is number... And he's holding the pork, too. That freaking bird. I love that bird. Uh, even though he was made to sell toys, I love that bird. So, anyways, um, Chewbacca is pop. Star Wars, number 195. Chewbacca with pork. But it doesn't say with pork. I added him with pork. And, yet again, I will do the numbers. Um, 190 is Ray. 191 is Finn. 192 is Poe Dameron. 193 is Luke Skywalker. Why do they have to put in their last names? Who knows? 194 is uh, Kylo Ren. 195 is Chewbacca. I just got Finn's number. It's FN2187. Um, number 196 is BB-8. Number 197 is Rose. Number 198 is The Porg. 199 is Supreme Leader Snoke. Uh, 200 is The Praetorian Guard. I think I did it right that time. And 201 is the First Order Executioner, and 202 is BB-90. There we go. One breath. We did it. So now, I'm going to take Chewie out. This is my first Chewbacca figure. I refuse to get the uh, ones from, like, 2010, because they just look very weird. And we will see him. Side note, I'm just trying to bring in my own flair. I'm not trying to be overly happy. Oh my god, this is all. I'm just trying to be funny in my own way, so it's not funny, I totally understand, and anyways, unboxing, so I got Chewbacca out of the box, and he's holding the bird, and actually I am happy right now, because I love this bird so damn much, look at him, he looks terrified right now, mostly because this is holding him, but look at him, he's so cute, so they do have the pork, it's called the pork, I don't know why, Chewbacca's heavy too. He's like, look, he's like a furry little baby. He's like, he's sitting in my hand, you know? He's holding a bird, you know? Baba head. Baba heading around. So Chewbacca is a very simple cre um, creature from um, Pop Figure. He's got a cool satchel here that we will never know what he's used for. Holding bombs. Holding weapons. Who knows? It is in there, though. And Chewbacca kind of just looks like Skaswell, which is so we got that down. And then he's holding the pork and um what i'm feeling like now is the way they sit together is that the pork sits on the driver's seat and chewbacca sits in the, in the uh, co-pilot seat so basically this pork in my opinion is han and chewbacca is just like yo han what's up man so um that's basically it for these videos um i was very happy to find chewbacca then yeah, I know it cuts it to an end short. Um, I will be doing more videos soon because I have more stuff to do. And, oh, if if you want um, to do a fan mail video, just let me know. And that's it. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.